Alien creatures. Blades, machine guns, laser blasters, realistic gunfire, <laughs> blood splatter, close-up images of impalement, dismemberment, decapitation, female characters in revealing costumes, deep cleavage, skin tight, flesh toned bodysuits with breasts that jiggle during combat. Father. This is the kind of violence that critics are pretty worried about. Cold-blooded murder is making Mortal Kombat the most popular video game. I do think the character model was actually like very distracting in not a good way. With the camera angles chosen, it just felt like a game that came out in like 002. It's like a bit old and, and not flattering, I don't think, for a modern audience, for a modern audience, for a modern audience, for a modern gaming audience. In the last video, I shared with you posts from an entity representing Compulsion Games. In these posts, they declared how they hated gamers and separated uh, white men and white adjacent men as well as cisgender or, or heterosexual or heteronormative, I don't speak this fucking cancer, and Compulsion Games went on to retweet the triggered crystal dynamic saying, and I quote, Many video games are a product of the times they were created in, as we look to recreate and remaster these stories for modern audiences, it's important to consider the implications of these harmful portrayals and do our part to rewrite new history. Not repeat it. We applaud our peers at Crystal Dynamics for their reflections and corrections. End quote. So your natural question organically right after that is what kind of Rudy Tooty fresh and fruity bullshit did Crystal Dynamics tweet that made them go, oh yeah, slay sis. And the long story short is that Tomb Raider 1 through 3 have been remastered and gamers are rejoicing. Lara Croft looks great, so you already know Crystal Dynamics had nothing to do with it. This was a wonderful update by developer Aspire that preserved the lightning in a bottle that core design catalyzed a phenomenon with, uh, culminating in multiple movies starring Angelina Jolie. The remaster maintains almost all of what made the original special and I reiterate that Crystal Dynamics clearly had nothing to do with it. So even though the developer broke a promise about not altering the now censored yet mature when the previous version was not game, for the most part people are pleased because it is faithful. And this is the problem that woke gaming has with what clashes with what they have decided the modern audience is meant to receive. Did I mention that Compulsion Games, the admitted aspiring history revisionists, they are uh, collaborators with Sweet Baby? I find that one of the things woke needs to do is take away your ability to speak. You know, lock the comments, filter, hide you, lock, we're locking the thread now, you know, they're turning everywhere into Reddit. But uh, what they should have done was made it so nobody could comment, because the few people who could on Compulsion's post are treating us with some comments I'll read for you right now. It's not your job to rewrite any history. These games aren't a product of their time either. They're art, and some art can be deemed offensive to some, but we don't change art because it's offensive. That's a personal issue. You don't see anyone crying because Franklin from GTA 5 was portrayed as a stereotypical black man from Compton. He actually connected to many people. Some might think his stereotype was offensive, except people from Compton, California. What are modern audiences? Were the audiences of 1996 stark mad racists? Where were the harmful portrayals in Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 3? What do you mean by rewriting new history? This does not sound historiographically cogent. Here's what I'm going to say. If Compulsion Games wants to rewrite history the way that Insomniac needs to rewrite another culture's language because they're white saviors and are totally not racist, 
And that's why they need to ban and silence me. Like You're not a, supposed to think about those things. It's a metaphor, Mike. Okay. It's a metaphor for... for Toxic, Toxic masculinity. masculinity, which is exactly the tune the Sweet Baby collaborators over at New Rocksteady are whistling. So that's why I compared the freshmen who remain at a New Rocksteady to ruin the legacy of the better men that came before them to Saints Row, or Volition, not just because of the landslide of overwhelmingly negative dislikes that both these games shared, dislikes that still rolled in in an insane capacity even though they try to hide that from you too. So after apologizing for the blasphemous counter gender atrocity that is an attractive woman in a video game in 2024, that's not what the modern audience wants. In a seemingly knee-jerk reaction, Crystal Dynamics unveiled their new manly Lara Croft. Mmm, take that, sis, hat, people, whatever that is. You know, I, all I could think about was how this is ruining what's supposed to be a lesbian kiss, because cause you know that matters to them more than anything in this whole video game. That and maybe two dudes kissing. Mm -hmm. You're a man, I'm a man. <laughs> like it's a Halo show, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They do that in that show. It's just gonna look like a man kissing a woman, and you guys don't want that, do you? We stupid. So I posted this image to Twitter, and thanks to Melanie Macri tweeting it, it got way more attention than it should have, which really just created a harvest for energy, and I'm a vampire, so I couldn't help but. <laughs> you see, these first two images are intended to be women designed by the untalented Crystal Dynamics. The comments, however, flooded with the only people who will defend ugly in video games, the pronoun posse, and they all kept mistaking this red-haired entity for Mary Jane when it is in fact Black Widow from their failed Marvel's Avengers live service, Farquaad Black Widow as we at the time called her. But even though these tourists, desperate to change the hobby instead of enjoy it, don't even buy these products, I can't blame them for failing to distinguish the difference between all of these ugly fucking goblins. We are well past the is this deliberate stage, so you can swallow that deliberate pill, or you can take the these motherfuckers are untalented and deserve to earn less pill because calling things quadruple A doesn't mean anything. <laughs> you can call it what you want to call it over and over and over, but this still looks like a fucking man. You understand me? You can draw something any way you want. You can assemble these polygons in any shape you see fit. Cost the future jobs by performing worse than AI and establish a destiny of hatred from people that could have done what you are taking for granted. I have plenty to say but how can I get there? Stellar Blade triggering these people. And in the same way it's the only people in my fucking comments defending this shit, those are the people that have a problem with Stellar Blade too. You got people calling them lotion games. She puts her, tech puts her technical knowledge to use by upgrading each- Ugh, the jiggle physics, ugh. Oh, I have such a, oh, come on. Oh, come on, I have a problem with that. It should bend. To what I want. It should be for me exclusively. What do you fucking people say? And they're learning it from watching you, by the way. It wasn't made for you. Men deserve their own spaces. I don't need to hear a 40-year-old white woman telling me about what doesn't work for her about Cortana's design. It wasn't made for her. What are you going to do? Get mad at me the way that they got mad at fucking Brie Larson? The things they're unafraid to say out loud, of course, is gonna make people wonder what they say behind closed doors in their forced Disney tier uh, queer trans stuff they want to inject into the game meetings, you know? The nut jobs writing this garbage that is so incredibly divorced from reality that you can smell the gender studies entities that cannot align with a dictionary definition of something as simple as a woman, but think that they're the enlightened group of scholars who will be using your entertainment 
as a vehicle to re-educate the nerds that they admit to hating. But the big problem with attempting to dictate, projecting that other people are man-children, when you're the perpetually offended, sweet baby, child-obsessed, turning mature things into sensitivity exercises you cannot entertain to save your life and have pushed out all the talent. So the best that you can manage now is objectively worse, inferior to decade old content. More movie than they are video game, quick time events, attempts at lectures and signaling the forced queer kisses and flags and lazy messaging from uneducated self insert history revisionists that are so gay that you're triggered by a titty you're triggered by pretty your posers fake gay niggas from space aliens Genuine gay people are not afraid. They're not terrified. They will outdo that. They will pull focus. Ask me how I know that. But these pussies need to remove the alternative because they're too lazy to try harder. Because they don't stand a chance if people have a choice. And they know it. So they'll remove your choice. They'll filter. They'll hide. They'll lock the comments these are the people trying to decide what you should be offended by <laughs> you can be in their face saying nah nigga this latinx shit sh mm. but it doesn't matter because they know better than you the white saviors know better than you they'll never put their face behind these pussy fucking messages crystal dynamics you put laura in this outfit because you bow to the customer bitch you will dance and bang them fucking symbols together like the monkey you are. Because if you were as intelligent as you think that you are, you'd be making 50 million a month like Nikkei Goddess of Victory. But even you were forced to shove your pandering right up your ass and cater to the male gaze because you need to make money. Ho. Slut. Bitch. <laughs> now, of course you're mad at Stellar Blade. Of course you are. And even if the developer Kim Young Tae had your backwards beliefs, he would be intelligent enough never to lock the comments. He'd never speak about rewriting history publicly because he's intelligent. You people can't manage that shit. You people are uh, all the atrocities of the past. There isn't a talented heterosexual motherfucker among you with sense enough to bestow their self-awareness on you. To let you know what kind of dork ass shit you're fucking writing over here beta testers these radical people waving the alphabet banner are unironically the space invaders that if not destroyed will result in a hot game over for their fucking studios it's not on us we've been telling them the logic dictates space invaders that you shoot where the aliens are going not where they are and i've tried it's up to you Moral authorities in these studios who think that they have parent power over you and your fucking wallets are are fast on their way to goddamn layoffs. How delightful to see the people who constantly flex about being on the right side of history and the new normal flexing about how if you do not do this, you are not our ally. How dare you buy the Harry Potter game? You know, the Germans and the Soviets also wanted to rewrite history because it would be convenient for people to forget how they had it. This channel's demonetized and I expect it to stay that way because the truth doesn't pay. It charges. It taxes. But you have made beta testers of us all without consent. You untalented hacks. And instead of respecting the material, it was only ever going to be giving us what you know we want so that you can inject what you know we don't want. I think we should address how dated Lady Lara actually is. 
It's not, it's not modern enough, in, in my opinion. It's not woke enough. If you ask me, Lara Croft can keep the tomb, but she need to ditch the womb. Man Tomb Raider, Lawrence Croft. Or would that come too close to the superior Uncharted series? Hello, beta testers. <laughs>